Today is the feast of St. Peter and St. Paul, the two great pillars of our faith and of the Church. And today's Gospel sets before us a question that Jesus puts before us, his disciples, and puts before us today. Who do you say that I am? This is the most essential and the most important question. Who is Jesus for me today? Who is Jesus in my life? Let us understand and see how St. Peter and St. Paul answered this question. Peter's answer to this question can be summed up in one word, follow. In the Gospel, Peter responds to Jesus' question by saying, You are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. It's the most perfect answer and it's the most catechetical answer. He was able to give this profession of faith only after following our Lord. And the evangelist Matthew also gives us the account how Matthew, or how Peter followed Jesus. When Jesus called Peter and his brother Andrew, they left their nets and followed him immediately. Peter left everything behind and followed our Lord. The passage stresses the word that he followed immediately. Peter did not say, wait, Lord, let me think about it. Or he did not say, wait, Lord, let me go home and discern. But he left his nets and followed our Lord immediately. And after following our Lord, everything, day by day, as a disciples, he learned about Jesus. He gained knowledge about Jesus and he said, you are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. And Peter says us today that you will be able to know who is Jesus in my life only after we follow our Lord, only if you become his disciples, only if you become his friend, and only if we experience his transformative love in our life. Today he invites us to be the community that follow, to be the church that follow, a church that strives to be a disciple of the Lord, a lonely servant of the gospel. Now let us move to the apostle of Gentile, St. Paul. If the word that sums up Peter's answer is follow, for Paul it is proclaim to preach the gospel. On the road to Damascus, as he led a fierce persecution of Christians, the risen Lord meets him and blinds him by his light. Thanks to that light, that light gave him some clarity to Paul, that he was caught up in the pride of his rigid observance, and he failed to realize that Jesus, the fulfillment of the mystery of salvation. After that realization, he went on proclaiming the gospel. The more he proclaimed, the more realization he got that Jesus is the Savior. He himself confesses, saying, For me, life is Christ. Today, St. Paul invites us to be the community that proclaim, to be the church that proclaim, sharing God's love and joy of the gospel with others. By doing this, we will be able to answer to the question, who is Jesus for me? Who is Jesus in my life? On this feast day, my brothers and sisters, let us be like St. Paul and St. Peter being disciple that follows, an apostle that preach. Let us bring the beauty of the gospel everywhere together with all the people 
of God. Let us pray for this grace as we partake in this Eucharistic celebration. Amen.